What may be the strangest twist yet in one of New Mexico's ugliest grudges? The jury in the libel case filed by a former mayor of Gallup against the Gallup newspaper publisher told the judge late this afternoon that it had reached a verdict. But when the jury came into the courtroom, there was a dramatic development. News 13's Nancy Laughlin is live in the newsplex. Nancy? Dick, what happened when the jury came back was not only dramatic, no one involved had ever seen anything like this. The trial has been going on for a week. Former Mayor Harry Mendoza is suing the publisher of the Gallup Independent, Bob Zollinger. Mendoza claims that Zollinger is obsessed with destroying him, and that's one reason why he was defeated for re-election. Zollinger published more than a dozen editorials alleging Mendoza was involved in the gang rape of a teenage girl when he was 16 back in 1948. Mendoza insists he was not involved in the attack and he was never tried or convicted of the crime. Things got so bad between Mendoza and Zollinger that two years ago they got into a fist fight in a bank parking lot that was caught on a security camera. At 5 o'clock this evening, the six-person jury hearing the libel trial that began last week came back with what everyone thought was a verdict. But then one of the women on the jury began crying and said she could not go along with that decision. Another juror also sided with her. This is the first time in all the trials I've done, which is kind of quite a few of them, that I've ever seen a jury poll, and clearly one of them was uh, not is being pressured into this decision. I think on behalf of, of, the, of the defendants, the Gallup Independent Bob Zollinger, um, we believe that the jury should be allowed to uh, do their work, and we want to honor their work, and I have no comment at this time. Okay, the judge dismissed the jury for the night. They will try again tomorrow to reach a verdict. One of Mendoza's lawyers says he may ask for a mistrial. Back to you. All right, Nancy, in this case, five of the six members of that jury must agree in order for the jury to reach a verdict.